Now moving on, Health Minister Dr. Ahmad Olamin Samate has addressed allegations and criticisms he faced during the 79th UN General Assembly in New York in September. Protesters of men whom Dr. Samate identified as Gambians from Kiang accused him of failing to protect children in the wake of the deadly contaminated cough syrup tragedy. Model Paji has the rest of the story. <laughs> During his remarks at a meeting in Sankandi village, Kiang West, on Wednesday, Dr. Samate expressed disappointment over what he described as harassment by Gambian protesters in New York. He specifically mentioned the action of individuals from Kiang, mentioning his family's history of supporting their education and development. The minister characterized their action as unjust and malicious, urging for change in behavior. <laughs> But in name and killing, video and endiro kenna, mo kende jama wulta hani tol fa wala kafoko no modo liya jiko e daji konta yale ke, dunia mo liya telephone, yen kontong ibe dua la nye ibe ku kendo lu fola ni president baro la maso kunda la kodo, bari ngai mi ye tandi, kadum president baro. Nga <laughs> Ise kuke la minse jawya. The controversy stemmed from the deaths of at least 70 children in the Gambia in 2022, linked to contaminated cough syrups manufactured by made in pharmaceuticals in India. These syrups were found to contain dietinyl galcol and ethanyl galcol, toxic substances that led to several kidney failure in children. The World Health Organization, WHO, issued a global alert and the tragedies sparked national and international outrage with calls for stricter pharmaceutical oversight. Critics argue that the Minister of Health failed to adequately monitor and regulate imported medications leading to these preventive deaths. In the months following the incident, pressure mounted on Dr. Samate to resign, particularly during international platforms such as the United Nations General Assembly, where some Gambian protesters voiced their discontent when they hacked him in the streets of New York. However, Minister Samate maintained that the tragedy highlighted systematic issues within pharmaceutical regulation rather than specific individual failure. For Star TV, I am Mutu El Baji.